Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about one of the most challenges of our times, hunger. According to World Vision, globally 8.9% of world's population, it's 690 million people, go to bed on an empty stomach every night. According to statistics, this um, people, a number of people impacted by hunger has been steadily on the, ray, on the rise since 2014. If it continues at this pace, by 2030 it will reach approximately 840 million people. There are no words how dangerous it is for everyone in our, on our planet. So, the most important question, is there anything we can do about it? Actually, yes. Mm, my solution to this issue is to produce more food on less land with less effort. We will use a um, program system that will control and maintain on greenhouse operation. So we will be able to use the greenhouse much more effectively. So we can call it smart greenhouse. However, um, there are many uh, weaknesses. So just imagine uh, in summer there are 92 days I spend two hours every day just to water and uh, check the humidity and the temperature values. And uh, uh, it turns out that I spent 184 hours just to, to do these things in whole summer. Um, moreover, it's extremely tough that, uh, to maintain uh, all these variables such as temperature, humidity with manual uh, control. Um, and, uh, and now imagine, there is no need to go to greenhouse to do these things and uh, we can um, drink uh, and you can sit at your home drinking tea and uh, this um, your computer will display a graph that fully describes greenhouse operation. Moreover, this greenhouse itself will water and check this temperature and the humidity values inside the greenhouse. It's amazing, yes? Uh, and now let's take a look at what makes such simple and straightforward system work. It's called smart greenhouse. And uh, the next slide, in the next slide, we can see the process of our work. Um, and we created a website that uh, will display all this data and the graph in order to make it user friendly. Uh, consumer can uh, understand it um, easily. So, and uh, can uh, see the changes in greenhouse operation. Uh, it's uh, like an implementation of our project in real life. And uh, the next slide, it's a um, whole concept of our, of our system. Uh, we use Arduino Uno in order to, connect, in order to use sensors that will collect um, humidity and the temperature values and uh, many variables in the greenhouse. And uh, through the router, we connected uh, the computer to the Arduino, which, which will be uh, uh, took in the greenhouse. So through this, water, uh, through this router, uh, all the data collected by Arduino Uno sensors will be transmitted to the computer. And, uh, it will, and all the data will be um, stored in appropriate way in the graph, in the database. Uh, and uh, the process of creation of this system has been challenging, but we have done it. Uh, and uh, the most important question, is this project, uh, uh, is it, any, is it uh, any project or uh, will not be used in real life? No. We have already agreed to um, install our system in Kenya in one of the local greenhouses. And it will be our first real life implementation of our project. By installing this system in, in real greenhouse, we can determine all the weaknesses and solve them immediately. However, a number of greenhouses using our system does matter for us. We will continue our work at upgrading uh, our system as we see the importance and the needs of our system for the world, to the world. So, because um, the, the, the traditional way of uh, greenhouse controlling should be replaced by a system that works independently without a human interaction. Who knows, maybe our project will bring positive change to our world.